on, buddy? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Moonlighter. Looking forward to having fun with you guys today like we do every day. Hoping that you find something you like. If you find something you like, don't forget to slam the like button. It does help me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Always got something new coming out for you. Love you to be here when it happens. And we're revisiting the Moonlighter. Uh, the previous series we did with Moonlighter uh, was like a PAX version that couldn't save. It can save now. And I'm excited because I can play it, save it, then come back later and play it some more for you guys. And we can have some fun and look at it and have make things and go and play. Let's go. Hard is recommended. Okay. We'll take the hard mode. Hard mode. They should just call the one easy. This one normally the one hard. I mean, it's just, it's all relative. One night, mazes filled of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called themselves the dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon, a village of slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This they named Rinoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Wheel of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Oh, I thought that was more going to be said for that. I forgot. Hey, to continue. We're continuing. Loading. Loading. Whoa, you tired, man? He's, he's roughing it up. Okay, okay. This way. I don't remember this. Okay, left. Oh, it's telling me to do stuff here. Oh, look at that. Oh. Gotcha. Ah. And then it's telling me to do that again. Left. Trick this one again. Okay. Go. I can do it through him. Ah. And then we get. So I can avoid it like that too. Nice, nice. This was not in there before. Oh, I get. I get. I got a room. I can clean up. I can sweep up the. Sweep up the town. What? It's not going to break that one. No. Hey. Oh, I'm pressing X. What, what, X was like a little short one then, I guess, it, or a block or something. Oh, it was a charge. I got a broom. Watch out. I got a broom, guys. I got a broom. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, yeah. Give me your stuff. All right, just double the check of these. We'll run down and charge and go. Picking up potions, too. I'll take that. I did it right. Okay. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. We have X. So we'll do it again. Uh, yeah, there, there, there. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, let's go inside you. Open. Uh, what do you got here? A water lamp. Okay, grab, hold the stack, be back, left B, right B to quick move, left left button to move all, we'll do that. Let's go up here, and it acts. Oh, it says monsters say it's locked if it's not. Okay, there we got you. Understood. Let's go. What do we got here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I need to fight stuff? I guess so. Holy crap. Am I supposed to die here? Is that what this is? This is kind of tough. Might as well finish it then. They want me to die, it looks like. That's what they wanted. I can tell. Because there's no way out. Spit me out. Boog. Ooh. What? He's running now. What a sorry-looking kid. Alone now. 
rest for a bit. Will I have you now? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. Oh, that looks cool. That looks really cool. Oh, I like how they, I like how they, they, they that's nice. I like the schematics things. There's no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did a little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run the Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for the crater's sake, stop using the broom of yours, you, you daft boy. <laughs> it's dangerous to go home. <laughs> oh, great. It was like... It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Sword and shield. Now then, get up. You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard hit some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Successfully selling your merchandise take knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. Item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge high when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook, it should hold all the information. You have gathered on discovered wares and you have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Okay. So I need to go to you. I won't mess with anything. You have cupped up with your merchant notebook, right? Oh, I gotta go get it up here or something. Or I gotta press Y and look at it. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full glory? That responsibility falls on to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one could always find better artifacts. Just don't dive in too far and use that pendant, boy. Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Awesome. It's cool. That's pretty cool. And that's neat to have a little intro like that. Um, we can roll. Oh, that was a blog. Oops, oops, oops. That was the roll there. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Go in there. Let me 
get my, my, my controller shook there for a second. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and check this out, see what the deal is. Uh, again, like, see if anything has changed from the last time we played. Yeah, the map. Where's the map at? Not that. Is it this? There it is. Okay. Nothing. Nothing there. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. There we go. We got some battles now. Ain't a broom. Seems to work a lot better. Looks like we can make another broom if we need to, though. With all the stuff, the branches and stuff. Uh, is there anything in these things worth getting? Probably not. Let's just check it out. Okay. Oh, we got a big boy. At least we can do an angle shot. I keep him off. There we go. Bam! Very nice. Yeah, I really. I'm just gonna keep going. We got a little spitter guy. Ooh, ooh, that was a bad hit. That was bad. Got hit. Do the angle thing with him. Nice. Nope. There we go. Nice. Got some shinies from him. All right, the map says, okay, nothing really changes. Let's go this way. Yeah, yeah, suckers. Red gooey gel. Red gooey gel. Let's get over here. Let's get up top. Skedaddle up in this place. Is that a dude chained to the wall? Why is there a five floating there on the right? Is there five branches? To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the skull. Check him out though. I'd say I fare better than he. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple of items when he fled. One of which is this map diagram. Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy, said, oh, crazy Pete. Done, gone, lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door of Renoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Okay, let's go over here then. Ha 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 ha. Anything else in there? No? Alright, oh, and there's a little shiny over here. Big boss gonna kill me. I was supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, uh, big boss gonna be so upset with doing me. Oh, there's the diagram. Oh, it shows me which key goes where. Simple enough. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Hey, this is my pendant, and I'm able to teleport back with it once I have enough coins or something like that, I guess. Okay, that's cool. And let's check out the map. Uh, the map is done. Oh, we could have restored we had another level we could go through here. Sorry, old Pete. Sorry that you met your demise. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, wait. I'm stuck in here anyway. It's going to make me do it. Okay. So, B. And then we teleported it out. You escape with pendant. Go to town. Saving! It just saved! Ah, so nice. Oh, there, there he comes. Ah, the young proprietor of the Moonlighter has returned. You look intact, but I learned to use that pen properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You, you found old Pete? Dead? See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon. 
and look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. And apparently they need some startup capital first. It would be nice to see some new life in Renoka. Nice indeed. Bye. Okay, apparently we need to go over here. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Open the door. I mean, read. Investments in town. Okay, Vulcan Forge and the wooden hat. Vulcan Forge, do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapons? I can solve that if you bring me enough money and materials, a forge to be reckoned with. So it's 500 to bring that in. We only have 100 on us. Is, is brute force getting you nowhere in dungeons? Visit the wooden hat to find potions and enchantments for this and that. 500. Okay, neat. And then, wow, well, 50. Wow, those are expensive. Banker and the hawker. Holy crap. Okay. Hey, what's your name? I thought I was wanting to become a merchant, but I could never find a pendant. Most pendants used were found when the dungeons were first discovered. Since then, finding a new one has become nearly impossible. Well, there you have it. Oh, ooh, can we break these? I forgot. Uh, I thought we could break those. Can we break these? Yes. Is there any shinies in them? No. Can we cut down the grass? I forgot if we could cut down the grass or not. We can't. Okay. We can hit the trees, I think. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, Let's see here. Maybe we should go back into the dungeons real quick and just see. Well, it is daytime, so. Is there any? Let's go inside the moonlighter. Now, if I remember right, we also had, we had ch chests and stuff to ho carry our things. So there's branches here. What are you? An iron? That's not. A, that's an iron bar. That doesn't look like, like a much like a bar. It's more like a rod. All right, grab and hold the stack. Uh, left button move. Quick all. Right button. Quick move. All right button. There we go. Quick move. T stones. Stones. I feel like the vines are something we're going to sell anyway. Whetstone, we'll hold on to that just in case. Golem core. Um, well, we need to check that out here soon, too. A ancient pot. I think we can sell the pot. Sell the water lamp. Gold runes. I don't know. We'll hold on to them. Roots. Roots. The roots are on fire. Let's keep one stack. Just to see. Water sphere. I don't care about you. Or rich jelly. So let's go over to. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this mean? Okay. The same thing. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Okay, the place. So let's go ahead and place. Uh, I don't know. Like that, and then place you, and then we'll place you, and then we'll go over you and set you up to be maybe a hundred a piece. Probably way too high. Go over here. Hundred piece, and we'll do a hundred piece too. Just see who does what. All right, there we go. Let's open the shop up. Oops, I forgot to change you. You need to be a hundred. That's what sold good at it last time. Let's see what it does. A good price on that one. That's nice. Let's sell it. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. We know that's a good price. Peace out. Now the vines, I don't know. That might be too much. Yeah, too much. Sell this right quick. Both of those too high, so let's go over here and lower them. Uh, let's try 50 then. Uh, let's try 40. I feel, I feel like being nice today. Let's try 40 on both of them. There we go. And then we're going to try the golem spheres too. Or golem cores. I feel like that should be a little bit higher. Let's try let's try like 300 on them. He doesn't like them for 40, huh? All right. Let's try. Let's split that in half. Let's try 20. Nope. I forgot to change those too. Let's change those to 20 as well. 20! Come on, Bubby. Buy it! Oh my god, you don't like my dolan cores for that much? Let me sell you them for... 
Oh, I didn't put all of them over there either way. There we go. Let's move this down to 150 then. 150. Bam. Still too high. Oh my god. Okay, let's try 10. Ah, oh, dang it, man. This is my stuff. All right, let's move the golem core down to 100. And let's move you down to 10. Move you down to five. He's getting him. A good price on that one. Good. Sold that one. So we'll move this down to five as well. Because the other one just sold the roots, sold for five, so I'm sure we can sell this for five too. Come on, baby. Buy them quick before we close the shop. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for purchasing today. Hopefully, you guys have a good one. I appreciate all the, all the money that you've been spending. Please go there. I still have some vines up, but you need to hurt and grab them now. Shop's about to close. No. It's still too high at five? Are you serious? Three? 30 bucks. Come on, 30 bucks. What? 20? I love that dude's hair in the front. He's like, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, he's buying them for 20. Buy them. Buy them now. Hurry up before it closes. Have a nice day. Thank you for shopping. Bye bye. We're closing the shop. We're out of stuff. All right. So there we go. Almost the grand. Almost the grand total right there. That's awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm glad to be back playing the game. Hopefully, you guys like playing the game too, because I'm going to keep playing the game because I like playing the game because it's fun. <laughs> anyway, guys, as always, thank you so very much. And you have yourselves a good night.